Hey everyone, how you all doing? Blue here, back with another Minecraft build tutorial. Today we're going to be going over three different water fountain designs. So we're going to have a small one, a medium one, and then a large design that combines both the small and medium designs together for one big water feature. So, with that being said, let's dive straight in and take a look at the three designs. Okay, design number one is a pretty simple design. This one is pretty compact. It's really good for small spaces. So somewhere where maybe you have a very small little sort of town square or small opening in a village, and you just wanna put something there that's kind of small and simple, just to kind of fill the space and make it look a bit more interesting. And this design is great for that. Design number two is a little bit larger. As you can see, we've got a bit of a larger scale here. It's not too big, but when I'm building things like this and features such as water fountains or anything that kind of revolves around the player, I try to bear the player's size in mind. So this one is a large sort of scale compared to the size of the player, you know, so sort of the sort of size you would see maybe in a larger village, in a larger opening on a, maybe a bigger town square as a sort of centerpiece of the village. I think this is actually a really nice design and probably my favorite design out of them all, something that I would definitely use probably more than any other design. The third and final design here, as you can see, we've used both of the water feature designs. So we've got both of our water fountains combined. We have three of them in total. So the large one centered with the two smaller ones at the sides. This way it creates kind of more of a larger feature. These are great to fill spaces that have a kind of a longer walkway where you can maybe have houses down both sides and this can be like a split between the two you know so it sort of divides up the street kind of makes a large open space feel a bit more full and kind of a bit more packed with something um, I really like this design I think this is also a great design in places like um, castles or palaces somewhere as you come into the castle and this would be like your first feature you would see right at the front you know a nice big opening feature before you walk into the palace for example now that's it the three designs we've got so let's go ahead and show you guys how to build these block for block so we're going to start with design number one Okay guys, here is a layout of the blocks you're going to need. Now I'm not going to do the exact block count for each of these ones because one, we've got three designs to go over. Um, so each one's going to use different amount of resources and all of them are going to be very minimal amount of resources. I mean, they're not huge builds. They do only take a few of each blocks really. So you're going to just basically need a handful of each at the most. Now we are going to be using stone bricks, stone brick slabs, stone brick stairs. We're also going to be using some cobblestone wall, some iron bars, some smooth stone slabs. I'm going to be using some dark prismarine here, but you don't have to use dark prismarine. This is just for the base of the water fountain. It's going to be in the ground. There are so many options for blocks here that you can use, whether it be glazed terracotta, normal prismarine, dark prismarine. You can put in just some cobblestone if you wanted. There are just so many different options. Just find a block that you like and uh, place that in the ground and add that one. That will do for the feature. I'm also going to be using some sea lanterns just to brighten it up a little bit. Again, these are optional. You don't have to add these and you can use glowstone instead if you wish. And then, of course, we're going to need some water buckets to fill up the uh, fountain with some water. And with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and build design number one. Okay, this first design is very simple. We're going to start by placing one, two, three of our stone bricks, and this is going to be the centerpiece for the small fountain. Once you've done that, you want to put a upside down stair on the top and one normal one at the bottom like this, and you want to do that all the way around on all four sides. Once you're done on the top, you want to place a full block and then another block on top and then some normal stairs going all the way around on top of those upside down stairs. Now facing from one side, you wanna place an upside down stair here and here, and then go to the opposite side and then face them here and here. It doesn't matter if you do them facing from this side and the other side over there or this side and that side, it really doesn't matter. Then you wanna get your cobblestone wall, 
place two on the center block here and then one on these upside down stairs like this. On top of them, you're gonna go ahead and place one of your iron bars and then one at the very top here. And on top of this one, we're gonna put one of our smooth stone slabs, just like this. Now, starting at the front or one of the sides, wherever you want to, you wanna leave a two block gap between your stair and then place another block here, okay? Then we're gonna put one more at each side. We can do that on all three sides. So we make a three from the center, from the center, two block gap, one at each side of it, the same over here, one here, and then one at each side. And then we can just put two four blocks diagonally on the corners like this. Once you've done that, take the block of your choice for the floor and just go ahead and replace your flooring with these blocks. Once you've got your flooring in, go ahead with your lanterns and I would just place one in the corner here by the stairs, one in front of the stairs and just repeat that all the way around. So pretty much just running a line all the way around the base like this. Then simply get your wall bucket, place it against this iron bar at the very top in the center here. And there we go. The only other thing I would suggest is to get your wall buckets and just go ahead and just fill around the edge here like this, just to fill the rest of it up down the bottom here so it looks like it's more full. Once your water's in place, the one last thing you can do just to kind of smooth it out and make it look a little bit nicer is place a stair here and a stair here on each side and then one in the middle. And then we'll do that all the way around. And then just go ahead and place one in these corners here as well, just to kind of finish smoothing out the look of it. And I think overall, I think it looks pretty good. It's a nice little feature and I think it'll look nice anywhere where you've got an empty space and you want to fill it with something. Go ahead and throw one of these in and it should make the area look so much nicer. Now that's design number one. Let's go ahead and take a look at design number two. Okay, design number two is also a very simple design as well. So we'll start placing one, two, and three of our stone blocks. Then we're gonna put a normal stair down the bottom, just like we did on the last one, and then an upside down one on the top one. Then we're gonna get our stone bricks, and we're gonna put one on top of all of these like this, like a little kind of plus sign. Then we're gonna put a stair in front of the blocks facing outwards like this, all the way around. Okay, then again, facing from one side, put two upside down stairs from one side and then go th right across to the other side and put another two upside down stairs like this. Then we're going to place two normal stairs on top of those upside down stairs like that facing outwards and then two on this side. Okay, so we should now have this one here pointing out in the middle. Okay, on all four sides. Now for this bit, we're gonna put an upside down stair here and then an upside down stair here. And we're gonna do that on all four, all four of these corners, okay? So just one on the side of the stair, upside down, and then one on the, the back of that stair, again, upside down, all the way around till we get to here. Now, at this point, we're gonna go one, two, and three, just like this. And then we're gonna put another upside down stair against the top of these ones like so. Okay, then at the very top here, we're gonna put one, two more blocks in the middle, a normal stair facing inwards on top of all of those stairs. Now, because we've got these stairs on this side facing in, we're gonna keep the same pattern at this side, and we're gonna put an upside down stair against those stairs there, making sure they face inwards, and then go around to the opposite side and do the same thing again, just like this, okay? And that is most of the feature shape all in place. What we're gonna do now is the upside down stairs here, we're gonna put one, two, leave this one in the middle, and then these two, these two, and these two, okay? And then at the top, we're gonna go one, two, three, and four. In the middle, one, two. Iron bar on top of that one, and on top of all of these cobblestone walls all the way down, just like this. Once you're done, go ahead and put your smooth stone slab on the top. And now for the base of this one, we're gonna get our stone bricks again. 
This time from the bottom here, we're gonna leave a three block gap. So one, two, three. On the fourth one, we're gonna place a block there. And then one, two at this side, one, two at this side. Come around to this side, one, two, three block gap. On the fourth one, place one here. Two blocks this side, two blocks this side. Let's do that for the other two sides as well. And then again in the corners, we're just gonna place two full blocks just like this. To create a nice big circle. Now, before we move on guys, you can also do this a little bit different if you want to. Okay, so here's one option and then you can put your slabs around the corners like we did on the last one. So you can put like a slab here, 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 and then here maybe because we've got a longer edge. You could repeat that on this side all the way around and then in the corner put your slab like that okay so you could do something like that or if you wanted to make it look a little bit more compact on the bottom here what you can do is you can break these so you've got three rather than four and then you can go two blocks there and two blocks there and then on this side you can break these ones and then have two blocks going in from there like that again on this side we can break that one break these ones here and we can go two and two break that one and that one and then have two break that one and then two so you've got a bit more of a smaller ring for the water fountain um, it's entirely up to you how you want to make this little ring it's your it's your build make it how you please and then again you can just put some slabs like that maybe one in that corner there and in fact well we can leave them corners and we can just do that all the way around and I think that looks pretty good like that. If you wanted to, you can add an extra one in the corners here, or you can go ahead, extend this around like this. There's so many different options for the bases here, guys. Just find a style that you're happy with and that you like. I think out of all, I think this is my favorite design for the base where we have three, a slab at each side and one in the center. And then we have two, we join onto two on this diagonal corner and then back to the three again at this side. Now, once you've got that all in place, go ahead and fill the floor in here with a block of your choice. I'm just gonna go with a dark prismarine again, but guys, you could use the normal prismarine or so many different blocks. The glazed terracottas are great here as well, especially the white one. I think it's the white and blue one. Um, there's so many different options. So just find something that you're happy with. Once your flooring is all in place, guys, just go ahead and add in some lighting. Now again, guys, we could go ahead and do the same pattern by placing one here, one here, one here. Oops, one here and going all the way around to doing that. Um, but we've got a little bit of a bigger gap here, so we could do something different. So where the stairs are, maybe diagonal, we could do something like this. Um, two here, two here, making sure that we don't miss that one. And maybe two here, we could do something like that. Um, you could even add one here as well if you wanted. You could leave this and just put them in the corners here or something. You can make up so many different designs. You can even go ahead and replace one like here and up here if you wanted with the sea lanterns. I'm going to just stick with the stone bricks for this. But, you know, there's so many different options, guys. Just, just play around and, you know, find a way that you're happy with it. And then, of course, put your water bucket at the very top there and it should flow all the way down to here. Now, what I like to do here, because here is all dry here, I like to make it look like it's flowing up here. So put a wall bucket against the block at the bottom there, and then one on this stairs here to overflow it. Let's do the same again here. All the way around the stair there, and then around this side, we can do it on that stair there. And I think that looks really cool. And then again, just like the other side, guys, go ahead and put some water buckets down around your edge down here, just so that this looks like it is actually full of water. Okay, and once you're done, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Okay, now, this is again great for places like larger town squares or somewhere where you want a nice big feature, maybe even right in the front of a smallish castle. You know, like a nice feature right at the beginning as you come in or the front of a palace or something like that. I think that is the perfect spot to put this kind of a build. Now, that's it for number two, guys. Let's go ahead and look at our third and final design. 
Okay, the last design is pretty simple, guys. We're basically going to build the large water fountain in the center and then the small ones to the left and the right of it. And then we're going to surround it in a nice big oval shape. So to start this one, like the, first, like the last one, we're going to go one, two, three of our stone bricks. Stone brick stairs around the bottom. Upside down stone brick stairs around the top. On top of these, we're going to place four blocks. Upside down stair facing outwards from the front of this block here, all the way around. Then basically pick a side to face. I'm just going to face from this side and then put an upside down stair here and here. Then we're going to go around to the opposite side and do the same against these blocks, okay? So they're facing opposite directions. Now, place an upside down stair facing forwards from here. So if we face this way for this stair here, you want to make sure that the stair faces the opposite way on these two stairs and then turn around and make sure you face two stairs in that direction for those ones. So that you kind of got an upside down stair like this and then one like this on top. Then for each one of these corners, we're basically going to put a stair against that one and then one against the side of it. Do that all the way around. Now grab your four blocks again and we're going to go one, two, three in the middle. Upside down stairs around the top. Two more four blocks in the middle with normal stairs on top of those upside down stairs. Then again, facing from the front where we place these upside down stairs down here, we want to face the same direction and on that normal stair at the top there, place an upside down stair there and there. And then round the opposite side, stair there, stair there. Place a cobblestone wall here and here on the corner and do that on all four sides. On the top here, just place one on the upside down stairs at here at the top here. Place two in the middle block here. Then we're going to put an iron bar on top of that with a smooth stone slab on top. Then put your iron bars on top of all your cobblestone walls coming down. Okay, that looks good. Now, if we look at this being the front of the fountain, we're going to go to the stair here. And you want to leave a one, two, three, four, five block gap on the six one here. We're going to place a block. Then we can break these five blocks here. Then on the opposite side to do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six block there. Break these five. You don't have to place them five. I'm just doing it so that you can see the measurements. So we've got a five block gap on this side and a five block gap on this side. Now let's go ahead and go one and two on top of this. Normal stairs around the bottoms like so. Upside down stairs on top. On top of this, two full blocks. Then upside, uh, then normal stairs on top of the upside down stairs. Round to the front, we're going to place an upside down stair against the two normal stairs there. Then round the opposite side, we're going to do the same thing like this. Cobblestone walls on these corners. Two in the middle, one on top of that, and then a slab just on that, like so. And then don't forget your iron bars on top of these cobblestone walls here as well. Okay, let's go ahead and finish up and do the same thing over here. So we'll go over it one last time, put two more on top of there to make that three high. Stairs around the bottoms, upside down stairs around the top. Two full blocks in the middle. Normal stairs on top of the upside down stairs. From the front here, facing uh, towards it, we're going to place an upside down stair against that stair and there. Round the opposite side, do the same. Cobblestone walls on the four corners. Two in the middle. Iron bar on top of there. Stone slab on top. And then iron bars on top of the cobblestone walls down here. Now let's go ahead and get our stone bricks and right over here where we've got the large one in the middle where that stair is we're going to leave a one, two, three block gap and place a block on the fourth one okay and then from here we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to the right so we're basically in line with the center of this one and then do the same over this side 
Okay, so we're in line with that. Now, basically, on the corners, we're going to go two blocks like this diagonally, one here. Then we're going to place another one here and then turn to the side and continue that. So we go two, three, four, five. Okay, so we've got a center one here, which is right in line with the uh, water feature. Then we're going to go one here, two here, one here, which is now in line with this. So now we're going to copy the wall from the other side and run it parallel all the way across until we're in line with this one here. Then we go two, one, one here and bring it across to make five, one here and two here. So that gives us a nice big shape here to put in our base. Now, at this point, guys, we're going to go ahead and fill the floor in here with the block of your choice. I'm going to just go with a dark prismarine. But like I keep saying, guys, just play around with the block choices. You can use the glazed terracottas or you can use a cobblestone if you want or even just stone. It doesn't matter. Just find a block that you're happy with and place that in your flooring down here. Okay, once you've got all the flooring in place, go ahead and get your sea lanterns or the lighting of your choice. You can use any light in here. Um, not obviously not torches, but maybe glowstone instead if you want. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy the first design here by putting in our sea lanterns all the way around the edge here like so. And I'm just going to do that same thing for all three of the water fountains. Now the lighting doesn't have to be like this guys, you can put the lighting in however you please here, it really doesn't matter, it's entirely your choice. Then once you're done, I would say probably best to get out your wall bucket and go ahead and just put the water in the bottom here first, go all the way around your edge. Once you've got all of your water in place, go ahead against your iron bar at the top there and go one wall bucket there. One wall bucket here. And then finally a water bucket over here. And then just to finally finish and complete it off on the large one here in the center, I'm going to put a water bucket against the block here on the edge and then that stair in there. And we're going to just do that all the way around. Just like that, so that it looks like the water is flowing in that little section there. And then I think one final detail here, guys, is probably just going to be some slabs on here. So two slabs there, one and then one, 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 and then two like that. And then down this corner here, the same thing. Just like that. And I think that just makes such a nice little feature. It's really cool. There are so many ways you can do this, guys. There really is just so many ideas. I mean, you could put some upside down stairs across here if you wanted to give it a little lip. Um, you can go ahead and make it look a little bit kind of, um, I guess, like a kind of castle like this with this effect. Every other block down here. So you could do something like that if you wanted as well, just to give it a little bit of extra detail as well, which I think does look really cool actually. I really like the way that one looks. There's just so many different options. And of course, you don't have to build it in stone bricks. You could build this in polished andesite or in stone, um, probably even work in quartz or smooth quartz. There's so many block choices again, guys, that will just work so well with these kind of designs. So go ahead and mess around with it, mix it up, try some different block combinations. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to wrap this one up just there. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Just don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But for now, this is Blue Nose signing out. And I will catch you guys in the next one.